My family lives in a small apartment. I want to invite my friends over, but I'm afraid they will make fun of where we live. What should I do? Well, I think they should, you know, plan activities and get pizza so they won't even realize the apartment is small. I think that you should plan fun activities for your friends, like their favorite games, their favorite foods, or anything like that so that they won't notice what your apartment looks like. I agree with both of your ideas, but I guess gotta say, you know, if they're your true friends, they won't make fun of your house any way it is. I'd probably just keep them away from the fact that it's a small apartment, it's just where I live. Just, you know, do stuff that doesn't require a big house. Do play dolls or just play in your room and talk. That kind of stuff. That's a pretty good answer. Yeah. Now let's take a look back at our answers. Your friends probably won't notice that your apartment is small. Focus on fun games and foods that you and your friends like. Good friends won't make fun of where you live. And plan activities that can be done in a small space. Cooper T from Arlington says, I play volleyball and usually I'm really good, but during games I get nervous and I don't play very well. What should I do? I know, I would say, hey, coach, is there any way that you can maybe put me in for the second quarter? And then I would go sit on the bench and look at all the players playing and I would don't worry about the scoreboard at all. Just worry about you having fun. Just look inside yourself and know I can do this. I'm gonna play well out there. And let's just say it's your team and no one else. That's a really good answer. I would think like, you know, when you play in front of the crowd, just pretend the crowd isn't there and pretend it's like practice so you can like play well. Maybe to make it e easier, pretend the crowd's all in polka dotted heart underwear. That'll make it easier. <laughs> but what That's if he's funny. afraid of polka dotted underwear? Then other underwear. Just something completely ridiculous. Okay, like clowns? Maybe. Okay. Well, all we want to say is you can do it, Cooper. Go out there and show them what you got. Woohoo! Yay! You got this, dude. We had some creative answers. Let's check them out. Don't worry about the score. Just have fun. Be positive. Pretend like the game is just practice. And imagine the crowd is in their underwear. Alina V from Little Rock says, I have two younger brothers and they always fight. How can I stop them from fighting? I have an answer. I would tell them to not fight because they're brothers. They're supposed to love each other. And if they don't listen to me, I would grab my mom so that they could help me from stopping them from fighting. What do you think, Keen? I think it's a great idea. When I fight with my brother, my mommy comes in and resolves the problem. So we don't have a brother fighting against a brother. I'd make up a game that there's no winners, so they won't fight over who won. And they'd still have fun playing it. What kind of game? You can make up a game, anything that you want to play that you know would help them, like... Pac-Man? Sure. One could be the ghost, and one could be actual Pac-Man. Or they can both be Pac-Man and try to destroy the ghosts. You could be the ghost if you wanted to. Or your teddy bears, or stuffed animals that they like. <laughs> and then you would just open they would just open their arms like this and walk around the house and like hug their stuffed animals and keep kissing them while they go around like they're eating the ghosts. And then they would like run away while the other people like throw stuffed animals at them like the ghosts are like lunging at them. And they would be helping each other because they both are Pac-Man. Yeah. I think it's time to review our answers. Remind them that brothers should love each other. Ask your parents or a trusted adult for help. Make up a game to help them work together better. And be creative and have fun coming up with a solution. This is from Hector P. from Phoenix. It recess sometimes me and my friends argue about who is on which team. What is a fair way for everyone to be on a team they like? Mia, what do you think? I think 
think that sometimes people having a best friend can get the better of them, and so they want to be on a team with their best friend. So maybe you can switch it up a little, make new friends, and so everyone will get a chance to be with someone that they want to be with. I agree, that's really smart. Thank you. And even if like people are like, still that's unfair, then you can ask the teacher to go like one, two, three, four, and like ones and threes would be on one team, and um, twos and fours would be on the other. I, so you could do that. Yeah, so I think you should do rock, paper, scissors, and that will resolve it. If somehow it doesn't resolve it, um, um, someone should just stick up, be the bigger person, and say, you know what, I'll be on this team, but next time I want to be on that team. That's a good idea. Thanks. And also, you could even swap players. Like, if the two best players are on, on like, the same team, yeah, then you can take one of the players and go on one team, and then switch the players until it's fair. Yeah. Yeah, that is a problem I had a lot in my school, so we just agreed, you know what, we're the best players. Let's have fun as rivals. Yeah, yeah. it's not really, it's not like it's going to be a giant competition. It's just it's not the end of the world. It's, it's not even the World Cup. It's just yeah. recess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, or lunch. So just remember that. It doesn't matter if you're, with, if you're with your friends or not. It's just a friendly game. But yes, I do like to win. <laughs> I do too. And let's just take a look back at our answers. Take turns playing on different teams. You might even make new friends. Ask your teacher or an adult to divide up the teams. Try rock, paper, scissors to decide teams. And remember, it's not the World Cup. It's just recess. Sophia T. from Las Vegas asked, I lied to my mom about my grade on a test. I feel guilty about it, but I'm scared that if I tell her, I'll get in trouble. What should I do? What do you think, Skylar? Well, your mom loves you no matter what, so I think you should just tell her and see what happens next. I think that you should always tell the truth because honesty is, is the way to go. Telling the truth is always better than not telling the truth and your mom finding out later, because then it's always going to be way worse, the consequences. Yeah. Um, because when you lie, um, it's just like being a bad person and it makes you feel guilty inside. But when you tell the truth, it's being a good person and you can just be free. You feel bad about yourself and other people can't trust you anymore. You lose the respect from them. Now let's look back at our answers. Be honest with your mom. It's a good idea to tell the truth right away. Lying makes you feel guilty. And when you lie, you lose the trust of others. Layla T. from New York wrote, I tried out for a solo part in a play with my friends. I got the part, but my friends didn't. How can I make them feel better? Well, I would say, first of all, first thing, do not brag and don't bring it up. If your friends bring it up, don't say, Oh, I got the part and you didn't. I would say, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry you guys didn't get the part and I did. And maybe next year we can all practice even more and we can maybe all get the part. Just tell them to keep maybe audition for another part and maybe like that he will get a part and maybe you guys can be in the same uh, audition or thing you're doing. Or just tell him to keep on trying because sooner or later he will get the part or any other part and i would compliment on the things that they do really well because some people are good at things and i'm good at stuff and they're good at stuff now let's take a look back at our answers don't brag about getting the part encourage your friends to keep trying suggest practicing together for next time and compliment your friends on the things they do well. This is from Violet B from Minneapolis. My mom just moved us to a new town and I'm going to a new school this year. How can I make new friends? When you're in class, the first day of school, you normally make friends pretty easily. Go to a different groups and ask them if you could play with them. Then you can start hanging out with them. And if you hang out with them, then maybe you'll be their friend. Yeah, I agree. Um, like. Just come up to a person and just start a conversation, say hello, and then start looking at the things both of you like. 
See if you guys, both of you guys like a superhero or a video game and like that you guys start talking about that topic and like that you keep on talking and talking and then you guys become friends. Yeah, yeah I like that. And I Thank think you. you make a first impression. So you want to be, just be yourself and go up to them and say, hi, I'm Violet and I'll bet you they'll like you. Yeah, well, you could also talk about video games, for instance. Like if, he, if he's wearing like a video game shirt. And by coincidence, I met my best friend. He was wearing a video game t-shirt and we talked about video games. We were just best friends after that. It's kind of crazy. It can even be just a common interest. Yeah. Hey, should we take a look back at our answers? Yeah. yeah. Try asking others if you can play with them. Find out what you might have in common. Introduce yourself, then be yourself. And be observant and find things to talk about.